working from home in and of itself is a journey. So while you can't be with your friends, it's important to make your own space, whether that's in your room or in your dining room or your kitchen or backyard. I think it's just important for you to find a space that you're comfortable in first. And then from there, you can build it from the ground up. So if you want to add paintings, candles, incense, if you will, just to help with stress, a to-do list. Yeah, so anything that helps keep you motivated, anything that keeps you at ease, I would add that in your workspace. So always check Husky CT and Student Admin, and any on-campus resources also have online pages and numbers if necessary. There's also a, a tutoring center that UConn Stanford provides, so if students were ever having trouble with a specific class, or that's a really helpful resource. Blackboard is really good to have on your phone, just in case you have an assignment that's due soon. It would be good to look back and forth instead of always having to turn on your laptop. Granted, you can also log into Handshake and LinkedIn on your phone as well. Other than that, staying connected with your peers or your teachers are really important as well in this because they understand how difficult this time is. So in terms of communication with your friends, texting here and there, just checking in on them as they check in on you, that would be good. I actually use Zoom a lot when I want to chat with my friends. We just kind of talk on here for a little. In terms of communication with teachers as well, again, email is good, or maybe I'll just schedule a meeting with them just to talk about the class or just anything really. As soon as the syllabus is made available, I would try to look at it. Easy tips that we can do um, to let them know that we are still engaged in this class is to turn on the camera while in class and show our faces. It shows the teacher that we are engaged and we care about what's going on in the class and we want to succeed. Refueling is very important as well to keep motivated. I usually give myself daily affirmations. I usually turn a negative thought into a positive thought. Trying to keep yourself motivated, thinking about the future. I think about the future a lot in a positive sense because I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of dreams that I need to achieve once I'm out of here. So I keep telling myself that and that keeps me going. Burning out is kind of something that happens as well. So I'll step away. I'll give myself some time to breathe. Again, I'll go for a walk. I bake a lot. Uh, I write a lot. Just refueling in that sense helps with building up motivation as well. Keep your desktop organized keep your files ranged, keep your workstations clear and tidy so you know where everything is and you don't add any unnecessary stress onto your load. I use Google Calendar and I think Google Calendar is chef's kiss, my love. Junior year going into senior year, it saved my life. Setting an alarm just to wake up at a certain time. If I need to nap, I'll nap at a certain time. Trying to make yourself any sort of a schedule you can, whether that be on a whiteboard you have at home or a piece of scrap paper, it can be really helpful just to see it all in one place and makes it feel more possible. Taking notes for some is very stressful and sometimes even unnecessary, but it's very important to take those notes because sometimes you may miss something and you have it written down that you didn't even realize you missed and they work as a great referral for you, whether you're writing papers or you're studying for an exam. If the professor might be going too fast, you could always take screenshots or take pictures or send those to friends if maybe they weren't able to get a picture of it. Just being able to record any class material at any time that you can will be really helpful in the moment to understand material and also when you're prepping for exams and you want to look back on something. Self-care is the most important thing to practice. If it is eating food, drinking water, as we should, just breathing, any breathing techniques, going for a walk, going to the beach, anything that we can do to keep ourselves sane is beautiful. It's just good self-care. Katie and I are both licensed therapists that are available to meet with students for any issues that you may be experiencing. Services through the Mental Health Resource Center are free and confidential for UConn Stanford students. If I need to just step away from the world, if I need to just go incognito, I'll do that. I'll do anything I need to do to keep my mental garden watered.
For my daily routine, something that I've sort of come up uh, with, when you first get up, just try to have a little snack and some water because it'll really help motivate you and energize you for whatever you may have to do for the rest of the day. Try to put on an outfit. It'll help you get your day going. If I'm having a busier week or even during midterms or finals, I'll try to write to-do lists for myself. And so one of the first things I'll do in the day is look at that to-do list and see what I can do right in that moment. If there's anything I can do, what I need to work on, if there's anything I really need to get done that day, keeping that schedule and that to-do list can really help manage your time and stick to a routine. With many different options such as online or hybrid or just distance learning, it is important to be aware of that and create different expectations for yourself based off of those learning styles. When you first enroll for classes, especially in a new semester where you might be completely online with your classes, it can definitely be hard to know how to best navigate that class. As soon as you can, just take a look at your syllabus and try to gain as much knowledge from that as you can. But it can be a little easier if we are able to differentiate between the eight course modalities that UConn has in place. It's important to remember to build on and start new relationships as well as connections because those are the connections that will help navigate and motivate you to complete your assignments whether that be through the use of study groups peer review sessions on your work simple things like those can make the difference or maybe even creating a weekend zoom call or a netflix party just any sort of activity you can do to interact with people in a safe way and expand your network and get to know people who maybe will turn into great friends of yours that you'll have for years to come.